In this video, we will be solving a past paper problem involving trigonometry, which will be a good opportunity for us to revise the cosine rule. Now, the cosine rule is very much similar to Pythagoras' theorem, only that it applies to triangles not only right-angled, but all sorts of triangles. But first, let's remember Pythagoras' theorem. In a right angle triangle, we'd have the hypotenuse opposite to the 90 degree angle and the other two sides. Pythagoras' theorem said that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. Now the cosine rule is very much similar. It works in any triangle, let's call the sides a, b and c, and it depends on the angle that we know for us to make the start. Let's say that we know the angle opposite to A, which we will call A. So then, the side we will be using as the hypotenuse will be the side opposite to the angle that we know. And it will look, as I was saying, just like Pythagoras' theorem, A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. But we also add minus 2bc, 2 times b times c, times the cosine of the angle between them times the cosine of a. This is the cosine rule. And as we can see, very similar to Pythagoras. In, in fact, if the angle a was a 90 degree angle, then the cosine of 90 is zero. So then 2bc cosine of a would disappear and we'd be left with Pythagoras theorem. Okay, let's see then what our problem wants. It gives us the length of the side AC, CO and the angle between them, angle C, which has 78 degrees. And the question is, use the cosine rule to show that OA is equal to 9.47 centimeters correct to two decimal places. So obviously we will be using the cosine rule. Since we know the angle C, the cosine rule starts with the hypotenuse, with OA. So OA squared is equal to the other two sides, AC squared plus OC squared minus 2 times AC times OC times the cosine of the angle between the two, the cosine of C. We replace these with the values they have. AC squared is 8 squared plus OC squared, which is 7 squared, minus 2 times 8 times 7 times the cosine of 78 degrees. And we will use our scientific calculator for this. We have the value here with 5 decimal places and again these calculations will be doing on our calculator and there we have it so then OA squared is equal to this that means that OA will be the square root of 89.713968 and surprise surprise that will give us 9.47 and some other digits, it doesn't matter because the result needs to be correct to two decimal places. So then we will be left with 9.47. So then OA is equal to 9.47. Remember when you are using the cosine rule, you're basically using a generalization of Pythagoras theorem. Depending on the angle that you know, the opposite will be the hypotenuse and it will always start by looking like Pythagoras theorem. All that we add is minus 2 times the product of the other sides times the cosine of the angle between them. Have fun!